Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day. I've received your messages and I'm here reporting for duty. <laughs> so if you haven't heard yet, Beyond Good and Evil is coming to Netflix as a movie adaptation and it's going to be led by Rob Letterman. Rob Letterman directed Detective Pikachu featuring Ryan Reynolds and Justice right. Smith. Pika Pika! Yeah, Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable, they can't understand me, kid. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the movie will be a live action animated film. However, there is cause to just push pause on that idea simply because I read a tweet between a fan and one of the writers for BGE2 and she essentially says that it's too early in the process to even give that kind of information out. Sarah also mentioned that the IP team will be along for the ride while the existing BGE2 team will continue to work on the game. The movie project is currently seeking writers and I've noticed that Ubisoft Montpellier has been hiring frequently so if you're interested in a job go check out their IG because they're always posting notices. Now it got a little bit confusing because Netflix posted a tweet that featured BGE2 key art but I have confirmed with sources, <laughs> sources have confirmed that it is about the BGE brand in general. It isn't about a specific game. That's kind of awesome because the movie adaptation can be about anything. It could be about anything within any point in the timeline. That's pretty exciting news. As with anything, some fans were really excited and some not so much. And some were totally raging. I can't understand the people who rage. I just, I just can't. But I can understand the people who are a little hesitant simply because it is a little tricky to adapt a game to a movie and have it come out well. That being said, Netflix has done a really good job with The Witcher, even though that's a series. But... It was really good, and if you haven't seen it, I do recommend that you check it out. It's it's just fantastic. Also, another thing I like about Netflix is that they don't shy away from diversity, and that is really important for me, at least, when it comes to the BGE world. Another reason I think we should be excited about this is that Ubisoft is clearly putting a lot of effort, time, and money into the BGE world. That's a good thing. I'm only saying this because a lot of people seem to be raging and spreading a lot of vitriol, and maybe Maybe it's not a lot, it's a vocal minority most likely, but they seem to think that this is the same game that was teased back in 2008, which is not. BGE2 has been in development for approximately four years and that's a short time frame for a game of this scope. Red Dead Redemption 2 took about eight years to develop, Cyberpunk took about eight years as well and it still hasn't been released, so I'm not understanding what people aren't understanding. <laughs> It's a short time frame. We have some time to go, and I can't say that I know when the game is coming out, but I do know for a fact that the game is being developed, and I can't say more about that because I'll have to shoot ya. So what would you like to see in the movie? What part of the timeline interests you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And by the way, if you're in the United States, go ahead and check out the Ubisoft store. There are two new BGE shirts and a snapback, and they come in varying colors. Unfortunately, the UK store doesn't seem to have anything available, but hopefully we'll have something for you soon. Bye guys.